Plowboy and Iggy here with the famous Bonnie Rotten. Now, Bonnie, not a lot of people ask about your personal life with relationships. Was it hard to juggle being a, a porn actress as well as having a boyfriend? Or did you find it, it just depends on the guy? I mean, it obviously depends on the guy. And yeah, it's a little difficult. But, you know, if it's true love, you find a way. One of my favorite movies that you've done, and it was behind the camera, you were directing the parody of Cape Fear. It's one of those things where I watched the movie about 200 times. I got the full script and then I chose the scenes from the script that were key scenes and I put the movie together and I direct, it was my first feature. So this movie I was given money to shoot it with and I shot it and I went way over budget, way over time, it took over a month to shoot. It was, it was kind of a disaster. So I'm really happy that it turned out very well. And I told you inside that you were up for a AVN for that movie as director. Yeah. Axel Brawny wins every effing year. Every I mean, year. you could at least given you that one, I thought. Right? Absolutely. Maybe one fetish or fantasy that not a lot of listeners or viewers of your films know about. I know you don't like the feet, the foot fetish, that's not your thing. Any fantasies or fetishes that you have? That I have, personally? Mm, I mean, I think I'm pretty out there with everything. Right? That, that sums it up, that answers it well. You got anything else, Iggy? I do. It's going to be kind of like a suck-up question because because I do dig you. I really do. Yeah. Um, to me, and I've been watching porn for a long time. I go back to your Nina Hartley days, your Christy Canyon, your Kay Parker. Um, now, and even to Julianne. Yeah. Now I'm into you. I'm into Dillian Harper. You are what I would call a true porn star. Thank you. Face, body, personality. You network. You take care of your fans. There aren't many true porn stars in the industry, and I commend you for being one, but there aren't many in the industry. There aren't, and you know what I blame that on? The, the, easily the accessibility of being able to get into the business. Because so many girls come into the business and they just shoot for a little bit and they leave. They don't stay, there's nothing really, and I don't mean this mean, there's a lot of beautiful girls that come in, but there's nothing that sets them apart or raises the bar for them. They just kind of go through the motions. So I think that, my tattoos, everybody told me you would never be a superstar, you're never gonna be a great performer, like this and that. I took that personally and I used it to catapult me to the next level. Because I took it, like this is, I'm gonna make this my shit right here. And you have. I will throw one perv question in. Um, Je no, well, I got to throw some kind of movie question here. Uh, Jesse Jane, fan of the show, she's been on with us a few times in studio. Her scene with you, and her scene in Pirates, that's real, and that girl gets down. How how freaky is she? She's pretty freaky, as you guys saw. She's lots of fun. Plows, you want to sign off? Inside STL News Team, Bonnie Ron, thank you. Enjoy your weekend here in St. Louis, and uh, we're out.